So what we're going to make is a dummy load, 50 ohm dummy load. Uh, that's going to go in there. That's going to go inside. And also that's going to go on top um, with probably a resistor on the other end close to the um, the center wire from that going through to uh, the resistor at the back the dummy load um, I think the easiest way is to uh, put a small resistor on there with a um, long leave one of the leads long to try first this is where I've seen online anyway there's a couple of ways of doing this either um, resist, resistor on the end or um, a small coil around the um, centre of the coax going through to um, that resistor um, small coil then coming back up and attaching to this or through a variable resistor to um, um, to adjust the gain as such and what that one is going to be is um, uh, a sniffer to um, plug into the oscilloscope so um, you can take a look at the frequency that uh, that you're on also um, when you're in um, sideband etc you can actually um, see the voice um, uh, print on the uh, oscilloscope as well so um, it's mainly to uh, to see the frequency uh, being transmitted that way um, it, uh, it should help to see whether uh, the frequency you're on uh, whether it's CB amateur radio is the um, the frequency that's going through so that should come in quite handy uh, but the main thing is to um, get the uh, the dummy load set look dummy load set up um, first I'll set this up but it might need some adjustment so um, that um, that will be a bit later so we'll see if we can uh, fit that onto the end of the, um, of the video if it's if I've got that working if not it might need a bit of adjustment and um, I'll um, I'll try that out um, in some other projects when I get round to that so right first thing to do is um, Gonna have to punch that one out, and um, also drill a hole to mount that in, and then drill a couple of holes inside at the back um, to um, to mount that, and then wire it up. So first thing is um, off to the shed to drill some holes. So uh, inside, basically, attach the uh, socket on there. Um, got the dummy load there. That's um, I, I believe they call them a um, microwave resistor. Um, must use them in microwave somewhere. But there you go. Um, but yeah, it's eight ohm, fifty watt. They're only about. Um, I'll say about four UK pounds, I think, delivered. So they're not expensive. And um, metal box um, with the lid. Um, that was from uh, Tool Station. I think that was only about um, four pound, I think. Um, yeah, it's just one of the uh, electrical boxes. Um, already got the pre-punch there for... Uh, where the conduit goes in so it was ideal for that one just punch that one out and uh, drilled a couple of holes and there you go um, the back I um, on the resistor I just uh, drilled that out as you can see really skew whiff but uh, there you go and then I um, put some of the uh, thermal paste on um, on the back there I've got a couple of brass um, sort of washers on the back just to uh, dig into the uh, the metal which I've uh, sort of sanded back so I get a good uh, connection so um, you get a good connection all the way through then to this part as well 
Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Just the inner inner part of a uh, piece of um, one of those RG58. Was it RG58? Yeah, it looks like RG58. Yeah, just the centre of the RG58 to uh, to connect those two up. Um, and that's basically it. That's the dummy load. And then the um, the sniffer is just a BNC connector. And I've just put a um, 47 ohm resistor on, which is the nearest uh, I could get to 50. I suppose I could um, do it another way. But um, yeah, that's, um, that's a bit of an experiment. I did um, see this one online. Um, and they say just to adjust uh, either the legs or get it closer to um, get it closer to the wire. But it seems to pick up or get it close to the resistor. But it seems to pick up. I mean, there are other circuits out there that um, uh, use uh, a coil that would just go around um, that wire and then come back up. Um, similar similar idea, but um, yeah, it uh, seems to work okay. It needs a bit of adjusting, but. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put it uh, put it all together, show you it in use, and um, yeah, see what you think. Okay, so I've got this um, CRT SS9900 set up on uh, 27.555 on FM. Um, then that's uh, just going through the power meter of just uh, making sure that uh, I've just got it set to 4 watts the output on this um, and it's going uh, into the dummy load um, and then um, what I'm doing then is I've got the uh, the BNC there the sniffer plugged into the, um, the scope here um, so when we run um, 27555 on FM, so when we key up on there, we get in the dummy load, but also going out, uh, going out to the scope here. Um, so you should be able to see here, when I key the mic, in the bottom right corner, it's giving us a frequency 27555 and it's giving us a carrier wave there. Um, so that's on FM. If we change um, the mode to um, sideband, then you should be able to see um, the modulation on top of the carry as well. Testing one, two, one, two. And on AM um, twenty seven five five five. Yeah, seems to be okay. Slight variation there, but not. It's only point zero 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 one difference. Got five 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 one there, but I think um, that's near enough. So um, yeah, hopefully um, that's going to come in quite handy for many reasons not just a dummy load but uh, also checking um, the output frequency on uh, on the radios um, where we haven't got um, you know a display like that that's going to show us what it should be um, but also I can have this radio set up um, as a receive um, test any radios on the dummy load and then um, whatever frequency it's showing on the scope also see um see if it corresponds with the um the receive one here with uh with a digital output so yeah I'm sure it's going to come in handy um yeah not the greatest of jobs as you can see a bit scratched 
um, and used a couple of bolts there, but um, does the job. I think uh, I think the resistor's rated at uh, 50 watts. So for um, CBs, amateur radio, you know, as long as you keep it, uh, most of the time you'll be doing testing like this on four, ten, four to ten watts anyway. So it's not a problem. But uh, yeah, in total, the uh, I think it's cost about about ten pounds. I think in total, um, I think the box was three or four. Um, the resistor was four, and then just the connectors. So yeah, maybe ten, just over. Um, but um, yeah, I'm sure that's going to come in very handy in the future for uh, for the project. So um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and um, got uh, plenty more uh, videos on the way. Okay, cheers, many thanks.